This problem is going crazy viral in China. And beware, as its solution might blow up your mind. We have a rectangle whose sides are 8 and 4 units. We then have a semicircle inscribed inside this rectangle. Our job is to find the area of this blue shaded region. But an important thing to note is that we cannot use integration for this problem. So, can you solve it? Area of this shaded region is equal to the area of this right triangle minus the area of this region minus the area of this circular sector. Great! The area of this right triangle is relatively easy to solve. Its base is 8 and height is 4. So its area is 8 times 4 by 2, or 16. Now let us solve for the area of this region. For that, consider this square, whose this side is the radius of this semicircle. So this shaded region will be the area of this square minus the area of this quarter circle. This square has a side length of 4, so its area will be 4 square, or 16. And this quarter circle has radius 4, so its area will be pi r squared by 4, where r is 4, so its area will be 4 pi. Thus, the area of this shaded region will be 16 minus 4 pi. Awesome! So if we subtract both of these, we get 16 minus 16 minus 4 pi, or simply 4 pi. Thus, the final answer will be 4 pi minus this. Therefore, now we only have to find the area of this circular section, and we are done. But that is the most difficult part, so pay attention closely. Okay, first consider this circular sector. Hence, the area of this will be equal to the area of this circular sector minus the area of this triangle. For that, let us label this angle as theta. Now, since both of these are of length 4, or the radius of this semicircle, Therefore, this will be an isosceles triangle. Hence, this angle will also be theta. Therefore, this central angle will be 180 degrees, or pi minus 2 theta. Area of the full circle is given as pi r square. So the area of this sector will be a fraction of this pi r square, right? Since the full circle is 360 degrees, or 2 pi, therefore this fraction will be pi minus 2 theta upon 2 pi times pi r square, or pi minus 2 theta times 4 square upon 2 or 8 times pi minus 2 theta. Phew! Okay, now consider this big right triangle. We have this as 4 and this as 8, so this diagonal will be under root of 8 square plus 4 square, or it will be 64 plus 16, or root 80, which is 4 root 5. So using trigonometry, sine of theta will be opposite upon hypotenuse, or 4 upon 4 root 5, or 1 upon root 5, and cos theta will be adjacent upon hypotenuse, or 8 upon 4 root 5, or 2 upon root 5. Then finally, tan theta will be opposite upon adjacent, or 4 upon 8, or 1 upon 2. Now if we have a triangle whose these sides are A and B, and this angle is theta, then its area is given as AB upon 2 sine theta. So, area of this triangle will be 4 square upon 2 times sine pi minus 2 theta. Sine pi minus 2 theta is same as sine of 2 theta, and sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta times cos theta. So the area will be 4 square times sine theta times cos theta. Substitute sine and cos from here to get 4 square times 1 upon root, 5 times 2 upon root 5. This will give us 32 by 5 or 6.4. And this theta will be tan inverse 0 0.5, which gives us theta as 0 0.464. So this will be 8 times pi minus 2 times this, or 17.71. So the area of this circular section will be 17.71 minus 6.4 or 11.31. Therefore, our final answer will be 4 pi minus 11.31, or nearly 1.25. That was tiring, wasn't it? If you like it, please don't forget to share this video with your friends and support this channel by joining our community
and becoming a member. So good.